Fry Fishy folks. Happy Fry Fry Friday. Today, new fish in the fish room. Grab a snack and a beverage, stand by. Hi, fishy folks, and happy Fry Fry Friday. Today, new fish in the fish room. I actually filmed this video on Saturday last week. Uh, as you know, this week I've been in Canada, Shikudumi, Canada, which is basically the Arctic Circle. Anyway, um, I went to my local fish store to buy some additional foam inserts for my AquaClear filter. I wanted to try to make a uh, uh, duckweed trap. We'll see how that goes, maybe in another video. Anyway, while I was there, he let me know he got an import order in from a transshipper, which he hasn't ever done before. I, I, actually, I remember him saying he was gonna do it, and I never followed up, but uh, apparently the transshipper sent him only females, which apparently is kind of common, so uh, he said they were pre-hit. I took a look at them. They look pretty good. I got a couple of females. I think I have four females. They are blue neon gummies, and I'll show those to you in a second. While I was there also, he said, oh, my regular guy, my regular Friday guy had um, blue cobras, and I looked at them, and they also look pretty nice, pretty healthy. I'm sure they got something, so they'll be in quarantine for a couple weeks with uh, some Lavamasol meds. Actually, I'm going to use um, Everything Aquatics uh, medicated fish food. I'll hit them with the trio as, as usual, but then I'm only going to feed them the medicated food. So i got to figure out tanks. Um, I thought I had it figured out, and I'm not really sure, but you know how it goes in Michael's Fish Room. Nothing's ever really planned. So, would you like to see the fish? All right. In this bag, we have four blue neon females. And uh, one of them looks like she's ready to pop today. Um, he said he didn't lose that many. I was pretty happy with that. They're pretty nice size. So, boom. We're going to put them up here. No, see, up there is where I was going to put the babies from the special project. So, maybe we'll put them in this tank, which has hardly any water in it because I'm cleaning it and then these are the I got three pair of blue Cobras and the reason I got three pairs is I'm gonna take two males and put them in my own male tank after they go through quarantine but I like to have extra males just in case so their water is pretty cold I gotta find a spot for them I have a tank down there I think I'm gonna use if I don't have any empty tanks up here which I don't I still got a jolt tanks. I have everything I need. I have the bulkheads. I have brand new hole saws, glass hole saws. I just don't have time nor patience or desire. All right, folks. I'm going to go watch a movie with the, the kids, and then uh, I'll come back and uh, film. So these are going to get acclimatized. That's right. I said acclimatized. Problem? I don't think so. All right, fishy folks. Welcome back. It's time to plop and drop. That's right, folks, plop and drop. It's how I acclimatize all my fish. First, we temperature acclimate, and then boom, plop and drop. And the plop and drop is very simple. We take the bag, like so, and our little man knife. Pop the bag. Plop the fish without the water from the store into a net, boom, drop them in the tank. And that's it. Now I'm gonna let them get acclimatized in here for probably about an hour or so. Uh, then I'm going to come back and medicate. We all know the standard medications I use, ICX from Aquarium Solutions. EM erythromycin from API and general cure from API. That'll basically take care of inside, outside, and on top. It's kind of how I look at it. Now, that is the trio of medicines I have chosen to use. What you use, what you choose to use, all on you. I will use that. In addition, I will feed medicated flake food to get rid of internal parasites because these were grown in a fish farm somewhere. So, there's about a 100% chance they have some sort of internal parasite. This is how it is, folks. I will try not to net them out. I'll try not to put my hands in the water for at least a week while I medicate. 
that's just like an internal Michael's fish room rule. What you do in your fish room or in your tanks, all up to you. All right, guys, go grab another snack and a beverage. Stand by. I'm going to go do the other plop and drop, and then I'm going to go eat dinner, and then I'm going to come back. So stand by. But seriously, are you standing by or are you sitting? All right, fishy folks, it is about an hour and a half later. The uh, blue Kerberos have settled in nicely. Uh, I didn't completely clean the tank like I thought I was going to because basically I forgot and I'm lazy. But I do have a filter to go in there. Boom, tank is now cycled. Uh, I do have some java moss in there. The water is low for a reason. Let me know in the comments below why you think the water is low, and then I will let you know if you are right. Uh, let's go check out the other ones, but first, some super red bristle nose fry, because they are adorable. And, uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited. Like I said, there's probably three batches in there. Um, let's go check out the other blue neon guppies. Uh, I did just add the filter to this one as well. Of course, we can't see them here. This is a wonderful video, guys. <laughs> um, oh, there they are, hanging in the back. Just chilling. There is a heater here, but the heater's not on. Um, move that out of your way. They, uh, they're they pretty bland. They're just females. Most female guppies are pretty bland, and these are no different. Some of them are quite pregnant, though, so I hope to see fry when I get back from Canada. And uh, that's that. All right, fishy folks. I hope you enjoy the new fish at Michael's Fish Room. And don't forget to check out the website. And uh, peace. We all know the standard medications I use. That's right, I said medications. I don't know what the hell that was.